Peru is a sleepy, quiet, South American country with a rich history and beautiful nature. Is moving to Peru a good option if you want to escape the West? Let's find out. In this video, I'll tell you more about Peru in general, its advantages and disadvantages, and how I rate it on my scoring system. If you like this kind of content and want to see more of it for free, like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps. All right, let's get on with it. Peru is a Spanish-speaking country in the west of South America. It borders Ecuador, Colombia, Brazil, Bolivia, Chile, and the Pacific Ocean. It's quite large, the third largest in South America, and boasts a variety of different environments and climates. Over 31 million people live here, of which 80% resides in the urban areas, such as the capital of Lima. Like Malaysia, Peru is one of the few mega-diverse countries in the world, which means there are very distinct natural habits to be found here, with many plants and animals, more than 21,000 species, of which nearly 6,000 endemic. Peru lies on the Pacific Ocean, so you can find beautiful beaches here, as well as arid plains and even the Andes Mountains. There's a tropical rainforest, mighty rivers, big cities, and so on. It used to be the home of the oldest civilization in the Americas, the Norte Chico, and later the Inca Empire, which was wiped out by angry, greedy, and often sick Spaniards in the 16th century. You can still visit the ruins of Machu Picchu, a citadel in the mountains of southern Peru. This is a truly breathtaking site, one of the wonders of the modern world, and well worth a visit if you're in the country. In fact, for many people, it is the reason to visit Peru. Throughout the 20th century, Peru's had to endure plenty of coups, social unrest, and other forms of conflicts. Currently, it's quite peaceful. Peru has adopted a neoliberal economic model, has seen a period of constant economic growth, and in general, a relatively steep increase in the quality of life. It also ranks high in social freedom, which is of course quite beneficial, unless you take it too far and it becomes a warped version of this utopian ideal, as is the case in the Western countries. In general, Peru is peaceful and gets along well with its neighbors, the only exception being Chile, but their relations are steadily improving. Does moving to Peru come with many benefits? You bet. Let's check them out. In Peru, you can experience plenty of adventures through a varied landscape, such as mountains, lakes, big cities, the ocean, jungles, and so on. It's really a beautiful country. Peru is one of the many Spanish-speaking countries in Latin America, and if you can speak this easy language, you will have no problem communicating with nearly everyone. Peru's got one of the best visa systems in the area, and moving there shouldn't be an issue. There's no need for a visa, you can stay up to 90 to 183 days per year without one. A retirement visa is possible and indefinite, you only need to have an income of $1,000 per month. An investment visa is another option, but you do need to invest at least US dollars After 3 years on any visa, you can apply for a permanent resident visa, which is renewable every 5 years. Citizenship is possible too, if you have permanent residency first. Traveling through Peru can really throw you back in time, and especially if you visit sites such as Machu Picchu, you'll get to appreciate just how ancient the culture of this country really is. Peru's climate varies wildly, but overall the temperatures are high, and there aren't that many rainy days. Peru hasn't been involved in any global war, and even regional skirmishes are a thing of the past. If you want a relaxed, peaceful lifestyle, Peru can provide it. The cost of living in Peru is very low, and as a single person you can easily get by on a thousand dollars a month. If you want to live a very comfortable life, I would suggest you earn at least two thousand dollars a month, because with such an income you will not want for much in Peru. In addition, this allows you to get a retirement visa. Keep in mind though that if you stay here on a permanent basis, you will have to pay taxes on your income. Peru has been growing steadily for many years now, with an average GDP growth of 5% per year, and there's no end in sight. In the region, it's one of the most prosperous economies. Sounds pretty good, right? That being said, there are some significant disadvantages to be aware of as well. Like almost all other tropical countries, Peru is very humid, so sweating is the name of the game here. Peru is not doing too well when it comes to English proficiency, but if you learn Spanish, which I would really recommend, this shouldn't be too much of an issue. Residing or staying in Peru for more than 183 days within any given 12-month period means you will have to pay taxes on your international income. They're not that high, especially compared to a Western nation, but it's definitely still a factor to be taken into account. While internationally speaking, Peru is very safe, certain areas of certain regions are definitely not the safest, just like in most other countries, I guess. 
be on guard, don't be an idiot, and you should be fine though. This is of course more of a personal taste issue, but I don't think Peruvian women are very attractive in general. They often haven't got the sexy big boobs, big butts Latino look that women in Colombia for example have, which is a damn shame. They are however quite friendly and open. And of course, there are plenty of drop-dead gorgeous women in this country as well. Just look at the one in the thumbnail. Alright, if we take all the advantages and disadvantages in mind, let's see how Peru fares on my scoring system, based on its climate, level of English proficiency, cost of living, taxes on international income, economic growth, safety, and the logistics of moving and staying there. These numbers amount to an average score of 6.9 out of 10, which is decent, but definitely not high and it puts Peru solidly below the threshold of the excellent countries. However, if you can speak Spanish and don't stay here for more than half a year per year, this country immediately becomes a great option. And finally, let's tackle the question, how is life for expats in Peru? Well, Peru can be a great option to escape the West from, but it isn't as good as many other Latin American countries, unfortunately. The cost of living is low, the visa process is relaxed, the nature is beautiful, and the country is doing well economically. Peru is a great example of a country on the rise, and if you settle here, you can certainly take advantage of this boom. While the humidity is unpleasant at times, you could just move to a more mountainous area to escape it. Peru is a mega diverse country, with many different climates and breathtaking sights. If you're into exploring and traveling around, you'd be very happy here. As a man, the options of finding cute girls are more limited than in other nearby countries, but that does not make it impossible by any means. In short, I can moderately recommend Peru as one of your bases, for example residency, perhaps even citizenship. I would advise against living here on a permanent basis, however. Anyway, that's about all I've got for now. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Have you been living in Peru for a while and want to add something I forgot to mention? Or perhaps correct a mistake? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching and see you in the next video.